What's up YouTube? Dr. Ryan Lowry coming to you. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much. Everyone that subscribed to the channel, uh, we're going to be putting a lot of time, energy, and effort into YouTube here in 2019. I'm super excited about it. It's a great platform. I know I've actually started getting back into YouTube and watching more and more videos uh, from YouTube. So I want to make sure that we're providing as much content, information, lifestyle stuff that you guys want to see. So. If you want anything specific, make sure you let us know in the comments because uh, that's what we're going to be utilizing to fuel some of the content that we're generating. Today, one of the things I want to talk about is something that someone sent to me and it happens, all, it happens often, right? There's a lot of stuff because the ketogenic diet and the keto lifestyle itself has become so prevalent like there's going to be naysayers and people who try and create buzz or try and create stuff around it to try and negate it because that gets them like press and publicity, right? So it's important to keep that in context. So I normally don't pay attention to any of this stuff. I pay attention to the actual science uh, and the people that I trust and a lot of my colleagues and friends in, in the community. But someone sent me this and it's from 2017, but it reminded me and because someone also sent me a Jillian Michaels article from this year where she says she would never recommend uh, a ketogenic diet, probably because she's trying to sell her new book, but that's a whole nother story. But if you look at it, if you look at this video, this video was done back in 2017 and the thing that scares me the most about this video, and I'm sure he's an incredible human being uh, and knows a lot, but like he's the director of UCLA Health uh, Department of Nutrition. And so like I, I look up to like people like that, like those people are very, very prestigious and have a ton of uh, knowledge, but he breaks down and he's going through a YouTube series where he's talking about uh, diets that don't work. And this one's about the ketogenic diet. It's from October 18th, 2017. So I want to play this for you so you get to see who this is and hear his kind of understanding of uh, what he calls a ketone diet. Hi there, this is Dr. Dave Heber, founding director of the UCLA Center for Human Nutrition. And I'm talking to you today about diets that don't work. And the next one I want to talk about is the ketone diet, or as it's known sometimes, the ketogenic diet. Now ketones are substances broken down from fat Actually, it happens while you're asleep and it happens during fasting. It's part of the adaptation to fasting. These things are soluble in your bloodstream so they can carry energy around your body, unlike fats, which are not soluble and have to be carried on proteins. So these ketones go up about 300 fold over the first six weeks or so of starvation and they each even come out in your breath. They create a fruity smell to your breath. However, they have little effect on appetite. The original theory was that they would reduce hunger. Actually, that is not true. So the first thing that he says is that a ketogenic diet or ketones themselves have very little effect on your appetite. He's like, well, the theory was that it would suppress hunger, but that's actually not true. Uh, it actually is true. And there's a lot of data now supporting that. In fact, if you look at studies and I'll actually have a couple pop up here. If you look at studies, that are utilizing a ketogenic diet, especially when people are in like a calorie deficit, when they're dieting down, you look at hunger hormones. When people typically diet, like if you're going on an extreme diet, hunger hormones tend to go through the roof, right? You're always hungry, you're always wanting to snack. Your body kind of is like, hey, I, I'm, I want more food, right? Because it wants to maintain homeostasis. When you're on a ketogenic diet and you're dieting, those same hunger hormones aren't as elevated and some of the satiety factors uh, are more elevated. So I don't know where that kind of concept comes from and I'm sure there's been tons of people who report back of like, hey, uh, I feel more satiated on a ketogenic diet. There's a plethora of research showing that a well-formulated ketogenic diet is extremely satiating. So that was, that was the first point that was interesting. The second point that I wanna go into uh, is even more mind-blowing to me. So let's play the clip real quick. Now the other part of this is there are sticks that you can put in your urine which will turn blue when your ketones are high. Now in order to keep your ketones high, you have to eat less than 100 grams of carbohydrate per day, which means that these diets are only 5% carbohydrate and about 75% fat with little 
amounts of protein, maybe 10 to 20 percent. So you're going to eat a lot of bacon, you're going to eat a lot of meat, you're going to eat butter, and you're going to eat oils. No effect on weight whatsoever. There have been some interesting studies on epilepsy and other brain disorders. However, for weight loss, this diet doesn't work. So one of his things, the last point that he makes is a, keto, a ketogenic diet, or he calls it the ketone diet, uh, has no effect on weight. He said, oh, it might be beneficial for epilepsy, but has no effect on weight. And to me, this is just mind blowing because even the naysayers, like even people that are like, oh, a ketogenic diet isn't better than whatever. Even the people who are naysayers often go, oh yeah, well you lose weight and it's water weight, which we'll discuss that in a second. But like he's saying there's no effect on weight, which I don't know what literature or research he's looking into, but there are plenty of studies that show you can lose weight. But I don't like the term weight, right? I think it's too simplified where Weight is constituted from a variety of different things. Water, uh, skeletal muscle tissue or muscle mass, uh, fat mass. Ultimately, the goal is wanting to decrease fat mass and at least maintain or gain muscle mass. That's ultimately the goal. And so one of the things that's been shown over and over again, if you look at some of these studies, and I've, I've talked about this over and over again, a well-formulated ketogenic diet has not only been shown to decrease fat mass, but also either maintain, or if you're training hard and have adequate amount of protein, you can increase muscle mass as well. So the concept that uh, he's breaking down this diet myth and he's saying there's no effect on weight, and quite honestly, it frightens me because he seems like a, uh, an individual in a position of power at a very, very prestigious university, and I think it's just a lack of, of education. And so, I wanted to create this video because ultimately our goal is to educate and make sure we're clearing up a lot of the confusion that's out there. Because someone might watch this video or someone might listen to Jillian Michaels or see her article and be like, I'm so confused, what do I do? That's ultimately what I want to be a resource for. And our team and colleagues, this community is ultimately there to do the same thing, to provide support and providing it in a sound research-backed way. And I think that's very, very important. So I hope that helps clear up any confusion. I'm, some people may have never even seen this, but you might have a friend or a family member that sees something on TV or sees this and it's like, oh, that ketone diet or oh, the ketogenic diet is dangerous or it doesn't have any effects. At the end of the day, it goes back to like the research and it's, there's actual research showing that yes, you can decrease fat mass on a ketogenic diet. Yes, you can gain muscle on a ketogenic diet. A well-formulated ketogenic diet uh, isn't doesn't have any negative effects on any safety markers. There's, there's more and more research coming out every single day. And I think this year we'll see an even bigger explosion of research in this field. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys. Uh, again, anything you'd like to hear about, if you have anything that you'd like me to comment on, talk about even quick little uh, tidbits, I love providing as much information as possible to you guys. And I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you, what you guys want to hear. Love y'all. Make positivity louder. We'll talk to you later.